Welcome back to my channel, everybody. In today's video, I have been so anxiously awaiting this video for you guys. I am doing a plan and oceans unit study video with me. So this is a video sharing all about the things that I plan to use in our oceans unit study. This is the oceans unit study from Rebecca Spooner from the gather round homeschool curriculum. So we just received our stuff that we had printed. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you those books. I'm going to briefly go through the items that I have purchased off Amazon to accompany this unit study. As we all know, libraries have been closed, so I'm not able to get my hands on books from our library. I did go ahead and make an exception with this unit study and spend a little bit more money on books to have in our home. I know there are a lot of different resources that are available online to listen to them, like on Audible, on YouTube, stuff like that. But sometimes I just want the actual book in our home. So I did find a few fun resources on Amazon for our Oceans unit study, which I will share with you, and then a resource from Costco as well. This video, I'm just gonna be sharing with you how I plan to do our Oceans unit study and some of the resources that I'm going to be using as we are doing this unit study from Gather Round Homeschool. So I hope this is something you enjoy and I hope you find it helpful if you have not yet done the Oceans unit study from the Gather Round Homeschool curriculum. So, so the very first thing I wanna start with is I'm going to show you our books. I have shared with you guys before that I do the digital version. I print everything out here at my home. I have shared a video in the past where I show you how I store them in three ring binders. And I've also done a video where I share the folder method. So um, I do have two different options there. But this time, I wanted to splurge a little bit, you guys. I wanted to try the Gather Round Homeschool curriculum printed through Barnes & Noble Press. So that is something that is affordable for us. I want to tell you just really quick, I do understand that Barnes & Noble is a competitor for Rebecca Spooner. I do totally understand that. But where we're at right now, financially, this was the only way I could afford to have it printed outside of our home. So I hope that eventually I can afford to support Gather Run Homeschool curriculum in a whole on a whole nother level. But at this point in time in our life, I have to do what we can do here in our home, which is choose to print it digitally myself. I find it to be incredibly affordable for what I'm looking for. And we are a one income family here as well. We are a one income family and we make different sacrifices because Gather Run Homeschool curriculum works in our home and it's what I want. It's what works for us. So I make sacrifices in other areas to bring this into our home and it's been a wonderful thing so far. So with that being said, this is our fifth unit study that we are using from Rebecca Spooner. This time I decided this is something I love, I want to do this. I opted for the Barnes and Noble printing option. It cost me $32. I have four books here because I did opt to have the teacher's guide printed as well. This is my teacher's guide. All three of my boys books are right here. They have their name on the binding. These are so incredibly beautiful and amazing and it just makes my heart happy to open them and just flip through the pages. I am just blown away with these books, you guys, and the Oceans Unit Study has had my heart ever since she released it. And now I've got my eyes on North America and I haven't even done Europe or Earth Science. Like I am so in love with this stuff, you guys. It's just something that is feeding my heart and my soul right now when it comes to homeschooling. The next thing that I want to share with you guys, I love to add read alouds to our homeschool curriculum. Adding books to our homeschool time is just bringing so many other areas and avenues to life right now. It's bringing our learning to life and I've loved that. So what I wanna share with you really quick are the books I've got. I'm going to share with you where I got those books and then I wanna show you what I have added as far as TV series to add to this unit study as well. So this is just kind of, here are the items, this is what I'm doing, this is kind of how we're gonna do it. That's what I want to share with you. So the first thing I wanna share, this is a book from Costco. So I don't know if you could even get your hands on this anymore at this point or not. I honestly don't know, but I got this about a month and a half ago. And it's really awesome, you guys. It's Amazing Earth Ocean. I shared this book with you guys in the past, but just in case this is your first time here to my channel, I just wanna let you briefly see the inside of it. It gives you all kinds of different nuggets of information regarding these creatures that are living in the ocean. And my favorite part, you guys, is you fold this open. You can have your own little 3D model of this creature. So this is the blue ringed octopus. You can make your own blue ringed octopus, get all kinds of little nuggets of information that will stick with your children through this book and move on to the next one. So we've got more um, animals in the coral reef and you're going through more information on that. We're going through sharks and then you can open it up and make your own little 3D model of a shark. 
This book is huge, so I'm having a hard time fitting it in the screen with me. We're going over whales, dolphins, sailfish, um, then deep sea anglerfish. You open this one up, you can make your own 3D model. You guys are getting where I'm going with it. I just really think that book will be a fun resource in our home for our oceans unit study. It's something we can play with and, and tinker around with outside of um, our actual school books. This is just a super simple memory game of sea life, sea creatures, stuff like that. So I thought it was fun. I honestly haven't even opened this yet. I'm just going to open it to show you guys really quick. So you've got clams, um, starfish, shark, jellyfish, just some really uh, sea turtles, just some fun cards, I think, guys, to play a memory game with my kids. It's hands-on, um, kind of that game schooling, I think, that I told you guys I'm kind of trying to get into and and bring to life in our homeschool a little bit here and there. Um, just schooling through games. I think it's a fun thing to do. So that is definitely why I added this um, sea creature memory game to my Amazon order. So the next three things I want to share are books. These are also from Amazon. The first one we've got is The Weird Sea Creatures. These are all three National Geographic. These are books that any of my boys could read. They've got awesome nuggets of information, beautiful pictures. We all know what the National Geographic books look like, so I don't need to do a flip through. Um, but I think they were $4, between $4 and $5 each. So they're not crazy expensive. Um, they've got some fun review inside of them, some questions that your kids can answer at the end. Um, all kinds of stuff in here that I just thought would be fun things to read to help bring everything to life since we are not able to get books from our library. This last one I got is Sea Turtles. So these three, they were not in a set, but I'm pretty sure you could probably order them in a set. I had the Sea Turtles, the Sharks, and then Weird Sea Creatures. And there were so many other resources on there, guys. These are just what I found that jumped out to me in the very beginning. The last book that I want to share that was an Amazon purchase is a big one but it's so fun and it's so beautiful. It is this right here, the ultimate Oceanpedia. This is also from National Geographic. You can tell this is a pretty thick book. It's got bright, beautiful, vibrant, colorful pictures. This is what it looks like on the inside, guys. It's amazing, it is beautiful, it is so informational. It's something I think my kids would even love to read. I think it's gonna pair awesome with the gather around oceans unit study because as we're dissecting each individual ocean i can i can correlate that with this national geographic book i think it will pair beautifully together so that i shared with you what i got on amazon i just want to briefly show you the inside of these pages look how beautiful you guys the cover is the graphics are absolutely amazing just in case this is your first time ever seeing inside any of these. I love that she added these color pages. The other thing that has changed since I last purchased and downloaded a file from Gather Round Homeschool Curriculum is the day at a glance, you guys. This day at a glance is so much more in depth now than it was before. We're going over spelling words that you've got. Your verse is at the beginning. So before you even start your lesson with your children, you can say, okay, repeat your verse to me, whatever verse it is that they're working on memorizing for the day, um, whatever crafts or arts or whatever you're going to need for the day. I love how this layout has totally been changed in this unit study. I think they're doing it to all of them. Don't quote me on that, but I think the older ones have been updated too. Maybe they haven't. I don't know. Either way, this is what I love. I love how the new um, day at a glance is laid out for us in the teacher's guide. So I am a little bit bummed because for my fourth grader, upcoming fifth grader, I for some reason printed out early elementary and I have no idea why I did that. I don't know what I was thinking. That was a total goofball moment on my part, but I'm going to go ahead and just stick with this for now. And if his stuff is seeming to be too easy, I will just either make copies out of his brother's middle school book or I can go back since I have the digital version and I can print here at home the pages that I'm needing in the upper level. So that is the nice thing about having the digital unit is I can come back and print out whatever I need. So if by some chance you happen to have a goofball moment like I did, I can just print out another book form here at home. It's not gonna be as pretty or as fancy as this, but honestly, I don't think my kids really care. It's more for me. This quality, by the way, from Barnes & Noble is perfect. I'm very, very, very pleased with it. In case you're wondering if any of you have any questions about that, I am definitely pleased with the quality of this and I have no complaints whatsoever. Um, 
The time for approval took a little bit longer just because of everything going on in the world. But as soon as it was approved, it shipped to me in I think five days-ish. So I'm totally happy with that. The next thing I want to share with you guys, this book. This is amazing. It is beautiful. It is so wonderful for every single unit study that is going to come from Rebecca Spooner. And I kid you not, you guys, this is so inclusive and just can be applied to any unit study that we're coming across. So as you already know, with our Gather Round Homeschool Unit Studies, I love to incorporate a unit themed puzzle. So for space, we had two different space puzzles that we did, which was awesome. And that was the very first unit study that I started that with. So I want to also do that with oceans, but I haven't found one that I am totally in love with yet. So when I do, I will be sure and let you guys know. But as far as books and games and hands-on things, that's what I've got to go alongside the Oceans Unit Study. I do want to mention, if you are a mom doing a unit study from Gather Round Homeschool Curriculum, I highly recommend that you join the Gather Round Facebook group because what is happening is there are so many moms who are sharing resources that they have pertaining to specific units that you are so welcome to go in and view all of those resources that pertain to that unit study. If it's TV shows, if it's puzzles, if it's um, let's make art, whatever it might be, there are so many awesome resources on that group. So I definitely want to direct you guys to that Facebook group. It has absolutely been an awesome resource for me. I do want to mention also what Rebecca has added in this teacher's guide where she has her book list. She's also added puzzles. She's added watercolor activities. She has added um, different shows that you can watch. I did just want to point that out in case you didn't already know that there is a teacher's guide that has a book list. It's got all kinds of different resources that you can pull in. I want to mention as well, in the very back of this teacher's guide, we have flashcards. You can cut out these flashcards. It's pretty thick. I don't know exactly how many flashcards are in here, but there are a ton of them. There's a picture on the back of them. So you can show your kids, you know, do, do these flashcards with your kids every day and just go over what you've learned and try and help ingrain some of that information in their mind. It's just a fun activity to do as a family, I think, to help remember certain facts about different um, animals that you're learning about. So I wanna go ahead and share with you all really quick some of the TV series that I plan on watching with our boys that I have found via YouTube, I have found on Netflix and even Disney Plus. Just some movies that we wanna watch, some TV shows that will be full of information for our little minds too, just to get us out of the books and learning in different ways. I do really hope to get to take a trip to an aquarium at some point in hopefully not the too far distant future. I'm sure we'll finish the unit study before we're able to do that, but I'm hoping that when we finally get to take a trip to an aquarium, that it will help everything really come to life for our boys. We're gonna have fun paint crafts planned for this, you guys. We're gonna have all kinds of fun different projects that I want to share as well. But this is just a first glance look at how I'm going to lay out our Oceans Unit Study, the different resources that I plan to incorporate as we do this Gather Around Homeschool Unit Study. So let's go ahead and get straight to the TV shows that I wanna watch. So naturally, we are going to watch Finding Nemo. So I'm gonna save that. We are going to save Finding Dory. I also have um, this fun penguins show. It is Disney nature. It's called penguins. There is the dolphin reef um, Diving with dolphins. There is this kingdom of the blue whales. So these here are on YouTube and I just um, Clicked in oceans National Geographic as we all know it pulls up all kinds of different awesome resources that we can watch um, As a family here and this again is just YouTube. These things are totally free so I thought I would share these with you guys. There's also this amazing animals. It's the ocean animals resource that I think will be so fun to do with my family. Um, what Sam sees, it is a shark dive camera, which I think is an awesome thing to share as well. Oceans of the world for kids. You guys, there's so much on here. Um, this one is the Arctic exploring oceans, under the Antarctic ice, coral reefs, all kinds of super fun things that we can use here. These are all National Geographic. Now, obviously you don't have to stick strictly to National Geographic. You can change it to absolutely whatever you want, but there are. Now I want to encourage you, sweet mamas, don't forget to check out Pinterest. If you are wanting or needing something extra in addition, as far as arts and crafts and hands-on things, guys, there are so many, so many awesome free resources on Pinterest. So don't forget to check out Pinterest if that's something that you're wanting to add. Also, 
YouTube has an awesome channel called Let's Make Art. She's got some different sea creatures and stuff like that that you can pair to go along with our Oceans Unit Study. If you've been interested in the Gather Round Oceans Unit Study, I hope that this has kind of helped you. Maybe it's given you some ideas, some different resources or things that you can add into your homeschool as well. That is the goal and the intention behind these videos is to just offer out the resources that we are using, the things that we are using, the things that I love in our homeschool. I love sharing with you all what we are doing and how we are incorporating different resources into our homeschool. I will see you all in our next video soon. Bye.